<clears throat> Hello, everybody. So we are going to start off with the Logstash <clears throat> installation. So let me quickly share my screen and start the Logstash installation. All right. All right. So in order to install the Logstash, we need to go to this elastics.co download Logstash. We have to go there. And uh, then we have to download here. Click on the download button. So this is your log stash. <clears throat> it's been connected. Now what I will do is that I'll simply start the log stash. So your log stash, log stash has already been started off. You can go to the benchmark file. You can see the installation configuration file. These are all your dependency files. All right, so Logstash has been uh, like, what you have to do, you have to run the Logstash. We have to go and run the Logstash. Now to run the Logstash, let, let us run it. You can create a simply creating a logstash pipeline. You can create a simple logstash pipeline. And then you can go to the bin logstash and logstash specify the configuration of the black pipe. Uh, let me show the structure of the pipeline. <clears throat> this is the structure of the pipeline. It has an enough of comment. You should have use a comment to describe the parts of your configuration. Uh, then you have the plugin configuration and then the value types and the array. And this is a list and this is your Boolean. You can set the Boolean as in true Boolean is, and then you can define. Uh, let me run the Logstash now. Logstash directory layout. Uh, we have the home directory of the Logstash installation, the bin, settings, logs, uh, plugins, and data. So let me quickly go and see all those things. This is my home directory. In the home directory, I have the bin, config, data, Logstash code, Logstash code, plugins, expect, vendor, tools, modules, and the lib library, and bin. These are features are there. This is the log files, the, the default locations and the settings. So installing Logstash is completed. We have installed the Logstash. The Logstash has been downloaded. You can uh, now after installing, you can what you can do is that you can 
And to run the log stash. Let us let us run the log stash. Let me show you the logstash configuration files. <clears throat> there are setting files are there, logstash.yml file, pipeline.yml file. Let me open those files. This one, pipeline.yml. Let me open the logstash.yml file. Just go through this code, guys. You know, if you <clears throat> have some doubts, the pipeline settings has been informed uh, mentioned over here. Pipeline workers, how many events retrieved? I am having some problem with them with my Mac, but however, that should be fine in some time. Uh, configuration the part that config file pipeline configuration settings you can set the config strings start up. So just go through all the all the things. You know, config support escape is set at the flip the false. API settings. You can you can change the settings. Um okay, so you can see the code over here, logstash directory layout. You can see the layout directory over here, the pipeline batch size delay. Uh, let me go into the pipeline values and security command line flag. You can set the things accordingly to your requirement. Just go through this document. This is a very, very good document. You can configure the log stash for the Docker. You can run the log stash for the Docker. I'd already done all these things on my windows. I'll try to share those videos. Uh, over here in the Mac, I'm having some home view path settings and all I need to do those settings. Yeah, so that should be fair enough as of now. We will do some hands-on with the uh, log stash modules and all. And also I'll try to uh, check for the logs and metrics. But mostly I use this. Hmm. 
this is a platform which helps. It's, this is a very good platform. So this platform should be used now and then. So I'll show you one thing over here. I'll try to connect with my lock elastic search and then I'll show you the username and the password. We're facing some issues with the username and the password. So I'll try to connect with that. I have a demo deployment. Let me open that this deployment. Okay, so you can see your pipeline and Logstash pipeline over from here itself. So, okay, so you can create your pipeline from here. You can give you a pipeline ID the same way, like all the pipeline ID, how it is done, execution model and all. So you can do the same thing here. This becomes very easy. I find this to be very easy. You know, it's you can go to the security users. Let me go into the users enterprise search. So this is the user I had created. Profile name is enterprise underscore search. This is the username which I was supposed to give to the other account when I was trying to use it. So this is the uh, full name. This is a enterprise search account. And I can update the user. I can add some privileged user groups and all. I can assign the users. I can do it from the command line, but I can also do it from here itself. So yeah, so this is the user I was having. So let me just keep, take a note of it. Enterprise user, enterprise search. Yeah. So that should be enough now as for uh, as of now, we can do the index management, you can do the ingest pipeline. I was just showing you how to download it and run it from the from your command line prompt, but however, this should be perfect. This should you can also use this one. Yeah. So all right, that's all for now.